ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Welcome, pop pickers, and a Merry Christmas. This is the Christmas edition of Cypher Broker with myself, Solomon Charles Edward Strickland, and this fine gentleman over here. Oh, do I say it? Yes, you say it. I never used to, did I? God, this is so professional. I Merry Christmas, you, yeah, Daniel think, yeah. McPeak, Hi. everyone. <laughs> nice to see everybody so, again. You, uh, you, you look great. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Um, I've been to the optician. Yeah, you. Uh, I didn't uh, notice you'd actually um, you dressed up. Yeah, these are on the uh, national <coughs> elf service. Um, oh my God. So yeah, I got to. All right, can we stop the terrible Christmas <laughs> joke? I do like the flashy thing round your necklace, though. That's good. Yeah, thank um, you very much. Is it actually? To, is it actually flashing? No. No. I, I think, think we decided. It, the producer Stan decided that uh, it might get in the way of the quality of the, yeah, you of might, the production. You look really good. You look very impressed, and I'm sure your kids are really excited when they see you. They uh, are denying my very existence at this point. They are. Yeah. In fact, one of them is over there. Hello, Audrey. And are you? Uh, so you're full on Christmas mode now, right? It's, we all, it's all coming are, soon. Yes, we are. We are now. In Have fact, you bought everything? I th think so, but I, yeah, I think so. Do you want to know There's what? There's always something else. <laughs> Do you want to know what drives me mad about Christmas? And I don't, I didn't realise it drove me mad until yesterday mm -hmm. when I found out that it didn't just drive me mad, it fundamentally hates my existence. Christmas And I was like, <laughs> well, nearly. The, there's a part of it that drives me to the point of thinking... Why do people do this, right? So we're in a shop, like a normal shop. I won't name the shop, but it's a normal shop. I'm not jingling, right? If I'm jingling, hello to all the reindeers. <laughs> nice to see you out there, reindeers. We do know that reindeers do listen in and do watch us. So thanks, Actually, reindeers. Actually, if there is anywhere where reindeers might come and, you know, yeah, grab a free it, free bit of carrot or brandy or whatever it is you give them, they're right out your front door, aren't they? they there they are. There's, a, there's a hundreds of them there. So um, we're in a shop, right? A basic shop. You go into a, shop, a basic shop. I mean, I don't mean a basic. It was a little bit posher than the average kind Don't of shop. Smith. Yeah, we're, you know, we're doing all right. Got a few quid. So we're in this shop, right? And we, we buy the things. Oh, hold on. What? Oh, right. I, oh, I got, sorry. Oh, right. I we are having a technical. Yeah, right. And, and, right I, I will I, give it, I'll, I will place them strategically on the tree. There you go. Which my loving wife has designed which looks great yeah. so uh, we, hang on let me finish with this thing because it's really important i get this out because i know you're going to understand and the minute i tell you this <laughs> right the minute no the minute i tell you this you're going to notice it and everyone else will all the time and it will also start to are you sorry are you, you about to ruin christmas no no it's very okay, simple cool. so we're in this shop right going to bought some little bits needed to grab some light little bits got some as we get into the shop a female person there on the checkout right I give her the stuff that I have. I've basically got my debit card. I just want to tap and get the hell out of there, right? Because yep. it's Christmas. And she looks up at, not me, at Joe. Yeah. So she looks up at my other half and goes, um, oh, you all set for Christmas? Have you, <laughs> have you done all your Christmas yet? And? And Joe looks like, and starts, have, hang on, starts the conversation. Mm. And I didn't know there was a set amount of conversation to be had. And also, you should include the set conversation in that. I'll give you an example. <laughs> have, you done all your, uh, have you done all your Christmas shopping yet? Oh, no, nearly. Oh, I'm finished. Really? <laughs> yeah, we're all done. Oh, well, ha have a nice Christmas. And you, and I look at Joe as I'm, because I'm halfway out the door now. Yeah. And she is boasting that she's far advancing you. In fact, she's ready and you've got quite a bit to do. And that destroyed me because I was like, why, why aren't I part of that? Why didn't she ask me? How are you with the gifting process? Well, Which she is, could probably see the look on your face. Well, no, no, but the look on my face might have changed my face. Right? I could have gone... I think, I think when we do our, you know, discuss Christmas films, which we're going to do, obviously, I think Scrooge is going to be your, your number one. Isn't no, it? it's not that. So my and I thought is, I was I, the miserable one. <laughs> I just want you to recognise over the Christmas period, when you're out and about and you're buying goods that you're going to put high and give to people that you don't really want to give them stuff but you're going to anyway over the christmas period i want you to remember the point when you was in the shop did at any point and it would have been yes and every single time did someone interact with you and say how are you doing with the process and look at you slightly murking like hmm not done yet hmm 
what's wrong and it's kind of like no we're not done yet because we've got a thousand kids okay <laughs> we've got 400 million people coming round. we're not sitting here probably in our late 60s with nothing more to do than share a couple of whole nuts right drink some hot chocolate and talk to her husband because the kids have left okay. they haven't left they're clearly still here and there's clearly more of them and they're, 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 mate they're still having take kids. two stop we need to do <laughs> that that's the um the uh, scared of christmas version take two <laughs> we're gonna go all smiley 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 okay yeah go so uh yeah i think we should move on to christmas films yeah. don't you think yeah, absolutely. Or do you wanna, no 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 let's talk about the year let's talk about the year and we'll lead up Let's be let's be uh, professional. Well, I've I've spoke a lot. So as has the year been for you? And we want you to know how you've been as a broker. We want to know how you've been, stuff that's going on. And maybe we should we should ask you to ask about what you think's coming in the next twelve months. Well, um, I yeah, starting with the first bit as a broker, game of two halves. Beginning of the year was all sort of you know. Stuff that we have to do, management stuff, dealing mm-hmm. with people, people's problems, people's good stuff, celebrating, not celebrating, yeah, whatever, whatever it else is we do. There's been keep, some great highs. I mean, like there's know. been some really good highs. Seeing guys come through our academy and get stuff going, the team building thing that's going on with, yeah. with our guys at the moment. Seeing the likes of Christian and Rachel really, you know, stepping up. I'm really pleased about that. Probably shouldn't name names, but I'm going to because I saw them last night. So why not? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, really, you know, an int- really interesting year. Hasn't been all plain sailing. Everyone knows the market's been probably one of the worst ever. But it doesn't mean so on that, you when don't you say, crack on and still try and do it. On it being the worst ever, mm. I'm still aware of people that have, you know, have functioned and have done stuff and have relaxed into the year. I mean, is there, you've been doing this a long time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, do you start this January, February, like we just did there, going, mm-hmm. oh, what's going on, blah, 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 you know, what's happening? Or is there a, a tip that you can give to anyone to kind of like, to ease them into it quicker? Because as soon yeah. as you get into the groove, right, you're in the groove. Well, yeah? I actually, I think it's really I think if I was more of a day-to-day broker like I was back in the day when we were really, you know, doing all our stuff at London Lofts uh-huh. and it was, you know, daily, daily, you know, selling, renting, selling, renting, taking stuff on, prospecting, you know, all day, every day. Um, I think well, the one thing I would say, and it's too late, sorry, but January starts in December and November, in my opinion. Love that. Because I think in December, you've probably got, especially this year, a bunch of people who probably came on in September, you yeah. know, came back from holiday way back. September, all full of like, surely now the market's going to pick up. Surely we're going to sell and we can move by Christmas or whatever. As we know, that hasn't necessarily been the case. It's been very sure. tough. So I think December was always the time, like August was always the time for me, you know, shifting it back into the year to go out and get stuff. Um, and if brokers have done that already, and I keep saying to people, I was talking to the guys I mentioned, Chris and Rachel, yesterday, we had a good long meeting actually. And, you know, I think they've got about 20 odd properties between them now which is fantastic. And I think, you know, if they go into January and do the same thing like we used to do and get, you know, get 25, 30, they will make money. Um, I think people who did that last year for the beginning of this year had a horrible shock. We all did, quite frankly. Yeah. You know what I'm like? I don't deal with high volume. I deal with a sort of small number of relatively high, relatively high value, um, but at great fees. Um, and that's paid off for me in the second half of the year because the first half of the year was just really, really awful. But the second half of the year, as you, you, you well know, things started to happen. And we feel now that, you know, after ding, Christmas uh, and in the new year, there could be some good news stories. And we know that there are some people, you know, on our team who deserve some good I news mean, stories. Yeah, I mean, you're right about, you know, um, Christian and co. They have put the energy and effort in and you know gone and took stuff from the street cold and now they've got a list of 20 appointments you know it's it's really important that they're out and about doing that um they're also they're not just gathering a um, property they're gathering people as well and And that's really interesting and it's interesting what you said and it's something we always say it's get january ready you know start january november you know, yeah. because you can't stop. There isn't, we hope we don't have a Christmas gap where we can wind everything down and then miraculously it all of a sudden goes, oh, it's, it's open now. It's not like you own a shop and you can just open it and then people just come yeah. in. You know, w- there is a constant working movement of stock that's required. 
Um, and that, you know, when you talk about prospecting, and we used to do it a lot back in the day, and prospecting still is important. You know, I, I, when I look back over this year, I know Mike's done a lot of prospecting. Yeah. You know, um, Mike continues to engage with some of the other brokers that have started the younger brothers and we'll help them yeah. and go out because he knows that that will work. You know, we see a lot of stuff with um, Rubens and he's firing in a certain direction and stuck in that direction. And yeah. it's, it's a one path. It's that one thing yeah. that makes it work. I agree. So I agree. How, if there's a way to get that, is it then you're just never, you're not, you can't be ready you ha you're on is that what you're saying yeah if I've you're a broker you're on 24 7 you should, well he should be right you've okay. got a salary to fall back yeah, on yeah. then you know what, you, what else are you going to do i think the one thing about this year that's maybe changed for me is that a lot of my the the, the deals we've done uh you know you and me the deals have all really come at the last the sort of tail end of the year so that's probably if i'm really honest sorry mr business partner um telling you Let's pretend we've had a few Christmas Baileys and I'm, and I'm telling you some, <laughs> yeah, some hold home truths. Hold on, hold on. Like, <laughs> he's having the Baileys. I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm on Carlsberg and not many of them. Is, he drinks Baileys. Baileys is like, uh, like Brussels sprouts it, or stuffing. Fantastic at Christmas. You'll never have it ever again. Like that. Um, so I have to admit, because everything came in at the last minute, and I think we had a completion yesterday. Congratulations. So a payment literally two or three days before Christmas. Fantastic. Um, yeah. For a commission for, for a broker. Um that has probably made me a little bit less January ready, if I'm completely honest. For myself, the question was directed at me. I would normally have a bit more to go into January with. Um, this year, or this, you know, this uh, tail end of this year going into January, it will be less of that. But also, uh, I've had some good referrals come to me, and I'm just working on those. I've got, you know, I'm, I've got meetings all the way up until um, Christmas Eve with, you know, potential people. So, you know, I, I'm not going to... I feel like I'm, I've slowed down, but I haven't stopped. I think that that's a really good point you've made there. Because I said a minute ago, you know, is it go, go, go? And you kind of said, yeah, it should be. And I do also think there's an element where you can put the brakes on. And if you're starting out, you know, there's no point starting out in a panic. Yeah. Right. I'm worried about what's going to happen or what you're going to do. And we say this all the time it doesn't matter what the market's like it doesn't matter what you're doing at the moment tomorrow is a great day to start mm -hmm. right as, as long as you as long as you've pressed the button you can come into this at any point and if you're constantly trying to force it you know by being aware of everything or, or thinking i should be aware of everything all i should be doing is thinking about brokering and houses and property and apartments you're gonna you're gonna struggle with it the whole industry works when it's relaxed. Mm. You know, so right. it, it's like when you can't you, force property sales. You can't force property sales. Because you can't, guess what? We don't sell them, do we? No, <laughs> properties don't get sold. They <laughs> the get market bought. decides when someone's <laughs> going to buy a property. And that's when you said that you had a busy art towards the second half. Mm. You, you, that's right. But there was all that work that was done from January that meant the money happened at the second half. Yeah. But there's always that beginning. So, you know, it's a great Actually, I've, time. I've got to sort of butt in. I've got to say, I can't remember the first six months of this year. I honestly can't remember what happened. That's because you had too many Baileys. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Crack on. So, so it's like, you know, we have this, this stuff around that we need to do. So it's like you, you, you're worried about money all the time because as a broker, you will be. And it's time to also be at ease because, you know, money flows when money flows. You know, there's no way of actually force it or to, to engage it or to make it happen now. It's, it'll happen naturally and it'll happen better when it happens naturally because it'll be truer. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you're a broker that's sitting there who's waiting for someone else to give you leads, you know, oh, why haven't I got no leads? Why haven't I got nothing? Just, just go somewhere else. Yeah, because you're not a broker. Yeah, what is it you say that someone like that would be? They're... <sighs> I don't know. I think the, I think that's probably. I think that kind of person should be working for an estate agency. That's that. that there you go. In theory, and there's nothing wrong with yeah, that. that, that you, they, they because can the ability to prospect and, and talk to people in their own home is the biggest asset we have as independent brokers. Hundred percent. And the ability to talk with people in any home, so they can talk to someone. You know, I can sell a fantastic Ferrari. But I would be just as keen talking about a 1946 Capri, <laughs> yeah. you know, but the money isn't going to be as much, you know, it's that. I kind know which of one's thing. cooler. Yeah. Because you're 
really good at real estate and therefore defined as really good at being in sales, yeah. your sales pitch is for whatever's in front of you. And naturally, you should be engaging with whatever's in front of you, mm. whether you're shopping in Marks and Spencer's or Lidl, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's your, your delivery should always be on point. And when your delivery slops, stops because you're only interested at properties at this point, you sacrifice everything else yep. and you become a little bit of a burk. Yeah. You know, your ability to color in the whole spectrum of stuff that's out there and deal with someone at 250 grand to 20 million is what makes you a salesperson. Absolutely. There isn't an agency on the planet and even the ones that are known on social media, more of which in a minute, actually that's come to mind with me. Um, there isn't an agency on the planet, even you know the Altmans and all these guys that don't sell everything at any price level. You know, we've always been when we got into this and we got into a company that's got you know very media based. You know, it's the stuff up there that creates the stuff down here. You know, the marquee listings create the brand awareness, gets you the listings that you can actually sell, and then that's a bonus. And that's what I mean. If you don't have that mindset, you are. You know, the air is very thin. That's why people uh, die not, yeah. at the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> people having that mindset aren't salespeople. Okay, they are doing what we just sold everyone not to do. They're forcing the market. They're trying to force the market where a natural yeah. salesperson will just fall into the groove. So if anything you can do over the Christmas period, just practice talking to anyone about anything you know obviously if you can talk to them about motorbikes because it's the most important thing on the planet and everything else pals in behind it and mention i used know, to love motorbikes they should, they should get they should get a new <laughs> new new harley which their business partner should buy them but it's up to them new breakout by kinda, the way kind of did mate <laughs> um so, <laughs> so and it's and it's that you know that not forcing it at any direction will able you to realize and to get more open and you can talk to people, you know, and that's all this is about. So that's all we want. Really. I really want to get everyone to understand you're a salesperson means yeah. you're involved in everything. When you speak, I want for Christmas, I want in terms of agency, I would like for Christmas for brokers to be really less reliant on social media. Certainly. There's a, I think there's, I've seen, a lot of people fall by the wayside, not too much just our brand, but just around the industry. But I've seen one or two very well-known examples of people relying on social media to build their business and create sales and create wealth for them. It just doesn't happen in real estate very often. There's a handful of people again on the planet for whom that is a real thing. And we know one or two of them, but it still is augmented, biggest word of the day, by, I, like I can't spell it, but like by it. the stuff we talk about, sending a bunch of Christmas cards out to clients at one million to two million or five hundred to whatever, you know. Again, and this is what I love, and I don't want this isn't the Chris and Rachel show, but because it's so fresh in the mind, I love the fact that yesterday we were talking about how they're going to build for next year, and they want four hundred grand properties in all parts of the UK. They, you know, they want the one millions in London. That's that is how you build a business. Sorry, that is how you work, and work is created when you do stuff that's hard, and it's hard to write out Christmas lists. It's hard to go and see people. It's hard to knock on doors. It's yeah. a piece of piss to put something on social media, <laughs> yeah. start to believe your own bullshit yeah. and think that it's going to happen. It's, okay. And then create the, uh, your own people that you're paying to follow you and to engage in when everything is just, it's a fantasy and you will live in that fantasy forever and you'll never get out of it. And we know you'll be living in that fantasy forever because you'll never do a deal. Because it hasn't, <laughs> and that hasn't changed since day one. We, I've seen, you know, a handful of really, you know, talented human beings just fall apart because of social media. And yeah, it's sad. It's, to it's horrible. It is sad to see. And it's you know, what's the thing about vanity and being expensive and so, vanity is damaging to your soul when it comes to social media anyway <laughs> yeah, let's, if you if you let it get you let's like that get your christmasy <laughs> daniel yeah okay what was we talking about what did we start the conversation father mcpeakmas hey that's not bad uh tm tra trademark uh, no, that, no, i own no, that uh, all right. I, <laughs> 
So, um, what we want to do is, because of your <laughs> beloved fascination with Prince William... Oh, my God. Um, and it, you're not even going to let me off at you Christmas. You even look like Prince William when you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? I mean, you, 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 look, you, your, air, your ears look like his dad. You're doing well. So... Um, I'm having a nightmare on Elf Street here I, right now. I found out, and Stanley's, Stanley's going to write this up later and send it off, actually, in real time. You can send... Prince William, or I think any member of the royal family, a letter. So I think it'd be good for you, so it would be good for your soul if you could write Prince William a letter. And I want to hand this over to you in 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 Robert, not Robert. Who is it? Corbett. Ronnie Corbin. In Ronnie yeah, Corbin yeah, 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 yeah. fashion. The producer. <laughs> yeah, the producer, the producer. <laughs> and I want you to just riff then quickly, Stanley B be, be recording. So I'm literally... Just send out, type, type out in your head to us, verbalise it, verbatim. I used the long word. <laughs> <laughs> you put that so we can then send it. And then uh, Stanley will actually send it to Prince William. And when we get a hit back, we will use it as part How's of... How's the letter being sent? Is it an email? Or is it... No, 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 no. It's going to be sent. It's, it's a be letter written. that's being written yeah. and sent to Prince Look, William. You can just bring the highlights <laughs> that you're, you haven't got to put how much you love him and like him. All right, I've got um, it. I've got it. Let's just do it. I'll make him. a letter okay, rubbish. So, um, Stanley, get ready to go. And over to you and your letter to Prince William. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> your Royal Highness. Wow. Is that what I call him? Well, he's your is mate, that... isn't he? I'm, it, mate, I'm, no, I'm, I've I'm never met him. I'm listening to you. Right. Uh, your Royal Highness, uh, Mr. Windsor, sir. Solid. <laughs> um, I write to you, I write um, to you. Mm. on this fine, in this during this fine festive season. But firstly, to wish you and your family a, a, a magical Christmas, yeah, yeah. and yeah, I yeah. hope that you don't dip too deeply into the public purse to buy them <laughs> things like Lamborghinis and things like other royal families around the world might do. I'm sure you won't, because you're a fine honourable man, and you were very, very well educated. <laughs> um, I would like to also wish your beloved Aston Villa the best of luck for the rest of the season, especially for the festive Boxing Day football match that they will be partaking in, no doubt, with you in attendance. And I'm sure, Your Royal Highness, sir, with you in attendance, they will have a much, much better chance of winning and possibly even winning the title. Go the villa, good luck, and goodbye. Right, okay. Uh, that, you're uh, sincerely. Wait, 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 you have to finish it in a certain way. Oh. So it's not go the villa, it's up the villa. Oh. Up, up the, the villa. Up the villa. Well, we're going to have to make some corrections. Okay. But, but we're good, right? We're, 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 that's done. Are we... Uh, that's a that's a, oh, no, 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 no. What's what, going on? What, Is AI happening? getting involved no, now? I'm not pulling up Prince William. You're not turning AI, are you? <laughs> he ain't, he ain't going to pop up, is he, and talk? I need a tie on. Not yet. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. It says here you have to end it with this sentence. Okay. Um, Solly okay. Yeah. Solly, um, yeah, please I end have. it. Uh, uh, okay. Um, up the villa, and I have the honour to remain, sir. Your Royal Highness's most humble and obedient servant, despite the fact you were younger than me at school. Uh, Mate, blah, 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 that's blah. really good. Thanks. Are you used to being subservient? <laughs> I don't know. I'll ask Rosie. So, <laughs> we'll talk about the... Um, the, the, the year coming forward. Right, can we get back to Christmas? Yeah, what we got coming... Yeah, it's Christmas. There's Christmas stuff going on. Christmas, Christmas houses. <laughs> right. Yeah. Everyone, like, everyone. Do you know? You actually pointed at that tree. I yeah. give you a pop quiz. Yeah. How many years has this tree been in our family? <laughs> do, 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 Fourteen. Do. No. You got another one. Another guess. More. Eleven. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Um. Eighteen. One more guess, and it's more. Twenty-two. Nearly twenty-four years. Well done, that tree. tree is twenty-four years. Yeah. We got it from Big W in Beckton. In Which 19, was, uh, nine, uh, nine, uh, I don't know, in, in, in all the thousands, yeah. something. And it goes up every, it loses, funnily enough, every year we sweep up a little pile. But it's not of, a real tree. No, a little pile of fake things that have fallen off. Yet yeah, during that Christmas period, the elves mm. come and get them mm. and they run back up in the loft with them and they stick it all back I'm together. Surprised. I'm actually a little bit sad that you didn't put some little festive um, miniature bottles of sort of Baileys or something uh, on, on, the, on my side of the tree so I could... 
Yeah. Candy cane. No. I have the okay, candy there, cane. There's a real one on there. Right. Anyway, nice tree. Um, I How, prefer, how's your tree? Is it, I is prefer it ours. A, ours is, a, ours is real. And B, and B Audrey, Audrey. Audrey did it. So oh, I have Audrey to say. did the tree. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well done, Buzzy B. And uh, is the is you got wood floors on that bit where you got that tree, or is it in carpet? Uh, wood floor. Yeah. Look at you, proper upmarket. So tip well, for this with, year. Um, His Royal Highness. <laughs> bloody bloody right, you did. <laughs> so so we were, yeah. So we're going to combine trees. Christmas houses with houses, Christmas then. films, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Big clue here, what, guys. What's the, what's the first one then? First one that we're seeing is um, oh the Home, home Alone, Alone ha- House. Oh, I love so Home what's Alone. What's the question? Hang the... on. I love Home Alone. I... Home Alone little 1 or McCulkin, 2. the little geezer that did it yeah. in the beginning. I Pops. like his little brother who wears the glasses, who's now the guy in Succession. I've got Roman whatever in Succession. He's brilliant, really dry. Mate, I'm still on, I'm still on Home Alone 3. So that's the Home Alone house on the screen right there. Wow. Okay. And what's, oh, the, what's wow. the, what are we trying to work out? What it's worth, what it's last sold for? Well, it's got gates. It never had gates, did it? Because they just drive in with that van. And, and they keep they... crashing into the uh, statues, don't yeah. they? Yeah, so that, that's, that's, an, that's been upgraded. I think it's just a, it's another version Is it of from it. Connecticut? Is that where it is? Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. Chicago oh, suburbs. Ele- where's Illinois? Illinois. Illinois. Illinois, Chicago. It's, it's a set oh, in Chicago. That's right, why it's okay. so cold. Yeah. So what's the question? What's the last never time been. it's sold? It's what's sold it? sold in 2012, but how much? 2012, that is a long time ago. 2012 or somewhere, I've never been. Okay, we've got three options. Know. A million bucks, two million, three million dollars. What are you saying, Sal? I'm going to say three I'm million. I'm looking at you because I reckon you've been to Illinois. Uh, I haven't actually, but my dad's been. So. Well, that's close enough. Cool. Um, I'm going to say three million dollars. <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, come on. I'll just go down the middle. <laughs> what are you going to say? Two million. Two okay. million. Yeah. Stan? Two million. There you go. Two million. And I've never been, but hold on a minute. If it was to come on the market now, Ooh. now, now in this market we're in now. There are two things. Since that, I think Home Alone, has, the franchise has become more iconic. Oh, so, so that's increased. That, so it's not just Zoopla doing oh, percentages, mate. Yeah, Remember we yeah, talked about yeah, a couple of things ago yeah, yeah. when you're valuing a property. Um, uh, six million. That, no, it's not London, is it? It's bloody Chicago. Five, four point, <laughs> four point five million. Uh, but we don't know. We haven't got the answer, so we're just guessing. And we'll tell everyone next year. Four point, four point five mil. No, I reckon. I reckon six million quid. Okay. Just for the novelty six factor. Oh, do- oh no, dollars, no, dollars, 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 dollars. Six million dollars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, we'll um, we'll go and get it. We'll go and value it next next year. We'll yeah. fly out there. So, um, that if, and if it is on the market for that kind of price range, then please get in contact with us. Um, and we'll fly out there. Solly will fly out there. And uh, we'll get it on the market for you and we'll get it sold. Don't worry. Because that's what we do. Right, no. We've got four more houses. Four? Okay. Oh, number two. Four more to go. So five in total. And that's round number just for you. Okay. Um, so we'll keep them a point system. <laughs> so, so he's got one. You're four. Uh, uh, these are he always is. Christmas movies, but they're just... Just a bunch of houses. Decorated with Christmas oh, lovely. Oh, right, okay. okay, I like this. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, Come on in. I'll show you the description first, then show you pictures. So this one is in South of France. Okay. Oh, Curr- no, he's already. Currently on the market, yeah? Uh, no, it's, these are the sold prices. Oh, sold, sold, sorry, just sold. They were sold... Actually... No, this first one... Dear listener, just, we apologise <laughs> for the absolute rubbish that is going on right now. Carry on. Just stick it up. Show me how big it is. Okay. Show me a picture of it. Let's go. Seven bedrooms. You'll know it's be, it'll be like in Chateau de Monet and worth like <laughs> loads of money. Ooh, nice. That looks like it's straight out of Colorado. That's Shout lovely. out to Bo. Um, oh, that's lovely. Oh, you um, love that, don't you? This is probably really bad for the viewer right now. They Are they going to be able to see this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, do, do describe it in case uh, Well, it's a, it's a, it's wood. It's a wood panel, <laughs> really lovely woody. house. I, it looks like it's got a moose's head on it. Oh, the it, bathroom's gorgeous. I th- oh, I just passed my. Uh, I think it looks a little bit like the the house in Dumb and Dumber where um, what's his name has a bit of an issue on the loo. Remember okay, that? so what do you reckon? Where's the, have we got a price range or is it just free for all? No, I'm giving you a price. Range. We need a where price range. It? Come on, let's crack on. Swimming pools. Let's crack on. Come on, sauna room. Let's go. It's got a piano in there. What are you saying? It's worth? Where's the uh, 
Where's the? I, I, uh, I, I need a. I need a price range here. But you need a price range or right, something 13, like that. Fact, 15, you just know. Ask one of your mates; they probably own it. <laughs> thirteen, fifteen, or seventeen mils. Uh, I think thirteen mil. I'm going to say because it's cold. It's never going to get that hot in somewhere. It's that cold. I'm going to say fifteen million. Fifteen million pounds. It's fifteen million. Uh, yeah, I always undervalue this stuff. Uh, it, it, because it's right, it's, it's in France. One all. What's the next one? All, one all. Bolton. Yes, it is in Bolton. You are joking. <laughs> okay. Come on, let's go. Well, Bolton, UK? Yes. How did you know it was going to be in Bolton? Because I can see top right. It says Bolton. Oh, well, okay. There you go. You're not using the false uh, then, are you? What are we looking at? What, what size is that? I and by see. the way, um, Audrey, can you please make sure your dad allows you to watch the whole um, Star Wars trilogy this year because you haven't seen them all and that is absolutely but any dad that hasn't done that with his daughter since your age that is really bad like it's really bad like you know i'm really worried that santa probably won't come you to just your saved place. me 15 quid because i was going to download the uh, taylor swift era's stadium tour hang on we're staying with star wars right you want santa to come and see you and you have to be up to speed with star wars because santa <laughs> is really luke skywalker okay, okay? Right. Cracking on. What is it? What's the next right, one? It's detached six bed, six bath, as it says up there. What's yeah. it look like? We'll six and a half thousand square foot. In Bolton. Uh, Don't. Don't. <laughs> Don't. You can go first. I need to know what the uh, thing is. I know exactly what it's worth. I don't even know what it is. I can tell. I think that is 1.75 million quid for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, what, what's the... What's the uh... It's 2.75. It's not going to be that much. It is. What's the yeah, price maybe, ranges on it? Maybe. Come on. 1.5, 2, no, 2.5. 2.5. I'm saying 2. 2.5. No! Without even seeing it. It's because it's in the UK, bruv. Anything mm. in the UK, stick it to Dan, I'll put a price on it. <laughs> like that, bosh. <laughs> I'm it. like, you buy any house for cars in <laughs> back to front or wherever it is. Give us another one. What's the other one? Crack open the baby. We're going in the French. I've never been skiing. Listen, listen. Come right? on, let's go, go, go. I go. ride a bike. Why the hell would I want to ski anywhere let's where go. you can't ride a motorbike? Come on. Sorry, any ideas just based off of. Uh, so it's 2,400 Can square we see feet. It at we least. need to see some pictures. We need to see it. So we're back see. in France again, are we? Oh, of course we are. French Alps. Your what, hometown. One, one knows it very oh, well. Oh, that's a great picture. Oh, lovely. That is nice. Uh, three and a half million. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's okay, in the Alps. That. It looks like it's, it looks like it's made of wood everywhere. <laughs> it looks like it's that typical vi viewing when you see the snow yeah, on the top of it. Two point five, three. Oh, that's close. It's two point five. Oh, I don't believe. And it. I haven't even been to France, and I haven't. Well, I've been to France, but I haven't been to France and gone skiing because anyone that does that absolutely doesn't understand. I need a you can go. Wait, you can go Lanzarote. It's hotter and it don't melt. You should do this property descriptions. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we so in there? Another, it's another Can we one please of, go to another cut? No, it's there. another one of Solly's friends' houses, clearly. This is just where he's going to be spending the Christmas running around from these houses. So this one was, what, 28, 28 bedrooms, is it? What's he got? <laughs> what's he got? Five <laughs> dailies. <laughs> 3,600. 36. Oh, oh, looks amazing. So it's a three story. That is Christmas. Eve. Yeah, it's wooden. Ooh, it's got wood that. inside and outside. That everywhere. looks like the kind of place that Jack, you find James Bond. Oh, it's got Bond. a great view with a little. Is that what you would call your bedroom view? No, so that's I'm, a I'm hot not tub. sure. Is that like your one of your places in France? No. Are you sure? Yes, very. Okay. Right, come on. I want to. I want to knock this. Do you want to go head. first or second? Because you're going to. You go first. I'll go second. Um, I reckon that is five and a half. Five and up, four and up. <laughs> okay, that's his choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Four and a half meal. Uh, I, I've got to go four then. Uh, it was three and a half, so you're both wrong. Oh, I don't believe Mate, I would have overpaid. So that was you two would have let me overpay. Yeah, so that's two one to you. Well done. No, uh, yeah. No, no, three, oh, one. is it three one to me? Three, one, two, Sorry, can, just just for the camera. Can you can you say what no, that it's is? It's on the screen right now. Yeah. All right. So it's three one. So let's, let, let's so Christmas and Christmas is coming and I know something about Solly that's really important that we share. Solly is massive on going to gigs and music and everything like that. So if anyone ever wanted a point where they could sit down with a musical genius. I'm not a musical genius. Yeah, a musical genius. <laughs> you know, 
a telegraphic genius of immense ability that would <coughs> suck the life out of anyone else that is even trying to be as good as them. Um, he could give you the top three Christmas songs and the top three alternative Christmas songs just out of the bat, just like oh, that. Really? Bang. Yeah, I mean, he ain't talking okay. about when I mean, we talk about my favourite ones. You, oh, let's go. Let's be. go. Your there is no first, best. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. 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 There, there is my... a best. You know what is best. Well, I know that Fairy Tale of New York is the best Christmas song ever, and sadly Shane McGowan has just left us. You've just so, li- literally. I, I mean, know you're going to start crying. That, 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 that's just like yeah. The yeah. Worst. As a proud Irishman, you must be devastated. But it's true. This is the first Christmas in our lifetimes without Shane McGowan in it, but his great song will live on. It's it number will. one on my list. It's number one on your list, and it's n- if it's not number one on your list, ignore Christmas and, and go do something should, else. Um, oh, we should. We haven't. I'll raise the virtual glass to Shane. Yeah, if you actually, you know, let something here for me. It well, if it actually, like, like, I lay all this on for you, so it's put <laughs> up for you, and you just turn up and film it, and uh, yeah. Um, so that went that way. <laughs> yeah. So forgetting Shane, you can't do that because everyone says that's top one. It is. Right. So it has to be free. That isn't that one. Okay. So let's... come up with the others. And by the way, uh, no Shaky Stevens. Shaky Stevens is definitely on my list. What one for is my, it on For my list? grunge friends in Seattle, for some reason. I told you you've been everywhere. If you're a grunger in Seattle, Shaky Stevens is the man for Christmas. Okay. So I will be getting messages through. Uh... From Shaky Stevens. <laughs> yeah, saying thanks for sending Soundgarden fans my way. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to go with. Slade, Slade, obviously. Slade, love it. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that, yeah. I'm going to be controversial given my music taste, but I'm going to go Mariah Carey. Oh my God, no, don't. I'm going to go Mariah Carey. And I'm going to throw in really one of the weirdest things that I will ever come out of my mouth, and that is Coldplay's Christmas song. Understated, beautiful lyrics, a real, it's a really good song. And everyone knows I flipping hate Coldplay. <laughs> Okay, so two of them. Uh, this isn't meant to be Christmas songs that a, a teeny bopper can get on down to with a granddad. You put on Coldplay, they're listening to it. They just look like, Oh my God, oh, I've just the forgotten. The lyrics one. are great. Right. Oh, that's great. Right. The what are yours then, Mr. Mr. Musical Christmas Genius? Huh? What are yours? What, my top three? Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not Coldplay and it's not Shaking Stevens. Be arguing, it's man. Wham. Wham mm. is a classic. Is it Wham or is it George Michael? It doesn't matter. It's, it's Wham. No, it's got Wrigley in it at that bit. So it's Wham, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's Wham, isn't it? Yeah, it's Wham. You've got... I would, you know, I probably <laughs> would, I would go, I would go <laughs> Slade with you. Yeah. Because, you know, you can't not a Aston... And again, because anyone from 0 to 500 can get on down with it. It's a great song. And when and, you hear uh, it's Christmas for the first time, you know it's Christmas. Don't you? That is the moment that Christmas And the arrived. other one that I can never remember what it's called, but the one with the geezer that used to be in all the <laughs> films in the olden days. What's his name? Ben Crosby. No, yeah, and he's with the other geezer, the drummer boy. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, what was his name? Did he do it with David Bowie? That's it, Bowie. That <laughs> is cool. I love Bowie that one. Bowie and Bing. See, I got a call. Um, beep, beep. Do you know what we... I think a special mention, of course, to Chris Rea, driving home for Christmas. Oh, p- uh, he never gets there, does he? I mean... <laughs> 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 if you're not if you're ever driving home for christmas and that comes on <laughs> do you know and why? your mood isn't lifted i've got there's a, something wrong i've with got you. a horribly muso reason why that's also Coming a dad in. joke all right you can do because chris yeah. Rea wrote a song called road to hell you the road to it, hell yeah. is about the m25 he was stuck on the m25 trying to get home <laughs> and he was calling it the road to hell We've all been there so that is why he never gets home for christmas because he's stuck on the M25. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> well, and you, can, you can just pull off, mate, and go somewhere else no, through the middle No, he forgets. Because he's always writing lyrics. <laughs> he writes lyrics. <laughs> right, okay. Um, are, we are we done? Uh, I've, I've, look, listen. Well done. Merry, first of all, Merry Christmas, soul. Well, well, done. well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, lad. Well done, well lad. lad. I'm sure you'll be off to shooting pheasant and... Uh, doing nah. Christmas weird stuff that rich people do. You know, you'll probably definitely have... I'm a- not rich in my wallet. I'm rich in my heart, Daniel. I'm just going to shut up with that because I think that's, <laughs> that's a great answer for someone that is clearly lying, say. <laughs> um, so, you know, listen, everyone, thanks a lot. Thanks for listening. Thanks for taking part. Remember, please, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, YouTube, have a very, very Merry Christmas and a great mm, New Year. And Merry we'll see Christmas. you all. Um, we'll see you all on the other side. Indeed. Bye.